day three. What's for breakfast? Scrambled eggs, bacon and sausage, scrambled eggs with cheese, potatoes, biscuits, French toast, other stuff. Fruit, yogurt, and fruit, and other stuff. That's what breakfast looks like. Good morning, guys. On the hi. shuttle, on the way to class. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. hi, guys. Oh, y'all, I'm tired. Today was the longest day so far. It's only day three. Um. If you're 21, pour you up a glass, relax a little bit. Um, <laughs> what did we do today? It was just so long. So we had basically a continuation from yesterday. Um, and this is good. I bought this from Target last night. Brand is Jam Jar. It's a sweet Shiraz or Shiraz, however you want to pronounce it. Packed with juice, berry flavors, hints of dark chocolate, Jam Jar makes versatile partner for everything from cheeseburgers to chocolate pudding. Best slurve, slightly chilled. It offers luscious fruity goodness in every sip. It was seven, eight dollars, it's good. Anyways, focus. Um, so, I am all the way distracted. Do I want this light? Do y'all like that better? I don't think I like that better. No. No. <laughs> we'll stick with that. Anyway, so today was just a continuation from yesterday, mostly. We finished um, kind of going over, you know, just the responsibilities of procedures and responsibilities of the flight attendant um and then we went over phases of flight so basically what we've done for day two and three a part of one one two and three was just touch the basis of what the full job entails right so you kind of go over from start to finish of what you do on the aircraft and then the next weeks to come, it's 20, 31 days of training, so four weeks, um, we'll go over specifics based on the aircraft that we'll be working on. Right now they fly three different aircrafts. So just from, we went to class at eight o'clock today we left at 6.30 p.m., so it was a long day. We have a one hour lunch break. Um, the last thing we did was get on the cabin trainer, which is, it's a real plane, but it's, but, you know, it's a, it's a real fake plane. It's like half of just the cabin. So it doesn't really have like a flight deck. It just has like a few rows of seats and the buttons and like a galley, basically. So anyways, so we did that, our instructors got on there and kind of showed us the full phase of flight from them checking in to um, pre-flight, briefing, boarding, service, all of that stuff. And you know, it's just kind of, you know, I mean, for me, it is. I'm learning stuff. I'm definitely not going to say I'm not learning things because they definitely have policies and procedures that are different than what um, I'm used to. So it's interesting. Um, but, I mean, phases of flight can't, you can't, I mean, it's not much to really change. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that was that today. Um, our first test is on Saturday. And that's just, I believe it's just over basic in, introduction or intro, what's the word? Introductions? Something. Don't give me the line, y'all. My brain is so tired. Um, but yeah, I'm not really 
pressed or stressed about it. Like I feel really, really confident every time they kind of are asking questions in class, you know, I'm, I'm knowing answers. So I'm good. You know, there's a few things that I might need to tweak here and there. I definitely will study. I will read through our, I'll keep wanting to say FAM. I will read through our IPM in-flight procedures manual um, just to make sure everything is fresh in my brain. But yeah, Saturday is the first test. Still waiting for tomorrow to come. Hopefully tomorrow they will tell us what bases we have been assigned to. Y'all keep your fingers crossed, prayed up. Um, by the time y'all see this, I'll probably be on the line for, for uh, a little while by then, but whatever. Um, but yeah, let's just hope and wish that I get Dallas. <laughs> or at least by the time y'all see this, I'm, in, I'm based in Dallas, Lord, please. Um, what else did I want to tell y'all? There's a girl, the girl that, if I put this clip in, I was on the shuttle this morning and there was a girl behind me, a little white girl. Her name is Brittany. Um, she had her tattoos surgically removed, y'all. So I know people are always asking about tattoos and so worried about them. If you're a truly ride or die and you want to be a flight attendant and you don't want to be concerned with the tattoos, go get them things cut off your skin. She had one behind her neck, behind her ear, and then one like her lower neck right there. And so today I was talking to her, she had a ponytail, and I saw sutures, stitches. Sutures, like, you know, Grey's Anatomy, because I know real medical terms. Um, and I was like, what happened to you? Like, you're in training and you just had surgery? She was like, oh, I just got my tattoos um, removed, like, a week ago. And I was like, girl, you were for real ride or die. She was like, yeah, I didn't want to have to worry about covering them up with makeup and all of that so so I just thought that was kind of a fun fact if I find her later I might actually show y'all um me I mean y'all I have the one on my back I got I have this one I have the one on my ankle and opaque tights will cover this up and the other two cannot be seen so I'm not having $1,200 surgery to remove tattoos um what else do we have to talk about today I don't know. I just feel, I I don't know. Maybe I do have a lot more that I could share with y'all, but just because I kind of feel like quite a bit of what we're doing right now is very redundant for me. And I feel like a lot of people that are going to be watching this vlog kind of probably already watched my previous training vlog. And even though this is a different training, I don't, I just, I don't know. Um, that's really it. Y'all like that's, if I remember something, Brittany, my roommate, is gone right now. I don't know if I mentioned, but she actually lives here in the DFW area. She lives in Arlington, which is just 20 minutes down the road. She went to go get her nails done because they're not compliant. So she got to go get her life together. Um, did I tell y'all seniority? I'm number 19 out of like 46. I think I told y'all that yesterday, but if I didn't, I'm telling y'all now. Um... that's that's all i got i'm racking my brain here um and really my mind is on real estate because i am truly dedicated to maintaining a balance this time of running my real estate business and growing that business and flying part-time that is my my goal 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 that's especially why i wanted to be based in texas so i could be close to home um and just because i live in houston that doesn't i can sell anywhere i can sell in dallas and you know who knows i might move here soon if things in life keep going like they're going um um so yeah anyways right before i left to come to training i had got a buyer approved which means you know she's in the process of trying to find a home to buy so i've been still kind of just dealing with that you know of course i have my mom who can, is, is helpful but you know I still want to communicate with her and you know make sure I'm staying up to date with everything that's going on with that process so really I'm, I'm just a little exhausted from today and everything that's been going on kind of with that um and we went to sleep an hour later than normal yesterday because I went to Target last night like I was showing y'all so Brittany and I have been kind of going to sleep between 9 9 30 we didn't go to bed last night till like 10 30 and that hour really took us out today. 
I still got up and went to the gym at five, but I was still super tired. Um, and I haven't been showing y'all the gym. Y'all know what a gym is. Y'all, you know, this is just a basic hotel. When I was at JetBlue, it was kind of fun to show y'all the facility just because it was a specific facility just for them. This is literally just the hotel. So it's not anything to really tour y'all around. Like it's, it's a hotel. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. If I think of anything, I'll come back to y'all. See y'all tomorrow for, for day four. one against your voice. A quarter percent. Good night, y'all. We should be getting our bases soon, y'all. <laughs> oh, I heard somebody O R D Chicago, and I'm not having it. Who know? Christ have mercy. <laughs> I am shaking. What is that? Oh, you're making me nervous. I don't, we don't know. We don't know. They know. We don't know. You know that you The other class know. The A class know. The B class. We don't know. Yeah, I feel like they might get us a Lord. We still, they gonna do this workshop first and then we gonna find out. Yeah. It's gonna be the, it's gonna be the last thing of the day. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the disappointment. I thought she said she's gonna review at the end. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Oh, 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 <laughs> he ain't even he, he don't even have a list. We all going to the same place. Oh, he got a list? We can do it now. Okay. No. No, we Stop playing. Y'all hurry up. Okay, shut up. Hurry up. Two at a time. Two at a time. Push the buttons, lift it up, pop it back. Sorry. <laughs> My nerves are really bad. And I don't know why. Are you going to Did everyone get to do the wheelchair? Yes. yes. Okay. Honestly, true. All right, guys. <laughs> so, we wanted to go to Miami. All right, two, three people? Yeah. Want to be based in Miami for real? Yeah. No. Okay, so I know we're going to head for sure. Uh, well, Miami's unfortunately closed right now. Okay. So I don't see that happening. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but if it happens, how do you know if it's open? You got to just be kept. They don't know, know what an NHI 6 is. Yeah, they do. Uh -huh. All right, so yes, yeah, so an NHI 6 is an email that the company sends if they want you to, song, to know something right away. Keep reading, keep, keep reading those HI sixes until you set, until you see the following bases are open for transfer. If you see Miami in there, go ahead and send your request. Okay? Okay. So wanted to go to La Guardia. Two people. Two from three. Come on, baby. Yeah, raise your hand. Right, great. Love you, friend. All right, so La Guardia is closed as well. <laughs> so. <laughs> So the same thing. Okay, y'all, be quiet, be quiet. So the same thing would happen if you need, if you want to go, keep reading those HI6s once you get to see that. Who wanted to go to DFW? A lot of people wanted DFW. Well, DFW is open. Yes! They didn't say that with your face. Yes! Open. If you don't get your bag, then you can go ahead and, and, and send a request. And who wanted to go to Chicago, I guess? Y'all, I know. Why are you crying? Chicago, it's your bag. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
This is what's gonna happen now. About the video machine. This is what's gonna happen now. I told you Chicago and Dallas are open, right? So this is what happened. Hey y'all. So as y'all were just privy to, we got our base assignments. The whole class is going to Chicago. ORD to be exact. I don't even think I have to explain to y'all how I feel about it. It's probably just exuding through my whole body language and my facial expressions and there's everything. And I'm trying to like find the positive in this. And the one positive thing that I'm, I guess, replaying in my brain to keep me from like crying is that I won't have to be there too long, hopefully. Maybe a month. Maybe two. You found your keys? I did not. I did not know where they are. Oh, Lord. But anyway, so Chicago it is. They did say we can put in oh. a transfer tomorrow because the base is open. But of course, the last, I feel like this is the fourth class in a row now. Third or fourth class in a row that they have sent out that they've sent to Chicago so all those other people that have seniority over us that may still be in Chicago and want to go to Dallas may also bid to go back and then of course they um, their bids would get awarded before ours so just kind of have to uh, just wait and see what happens but I mean a few months hopefully won't kill me me and Britt can maybe get a little trip together or something <laughs> oh good how, how, oh that's why you thought my keys were yours you got a little fitness connection <laughs> <laughs> no sorry those are mine um so yeah but a positive so one thing that I really do like about this airline is they give you um commuter hotels so if you are in the system as a commuter and I believe what did he say 49 miles mm -hmm. 49 miles so if you they, you're they petty for that though 49 not 50 they petty <laughs> <laughs> if you live if your address in the system as in where you live your permanent address whatever is 49 miles away from your your base they give you a they give you four commuter hotels each month so basically what that means is if I commute in the night before to Chicago if I have if I was going on reserve tomorrow and I wanted to commute in tonight the airline will pay for a hotel for me to stay in that night and they give you a total of four for the month so you have to be really smart about how you use these hotels and I guess how you bid for your your hours and pick up trips so you won't be sitting around too much basically um, then I've heard some other things that people kind of they pool their nights together so if you're commuting in at the same time you just use one hotel and y'all share you know y'all share the room instead of everybody just being one person to a room you know just be smart about it with your your crew workers your friends if y'all are friendly enough to do that you know but if you don't want to you don't have to because the room is t technically assigned to you um so that definitely is a positive um and hopefully you know we should be on the line basically the full month of august we graduate august 7th um so hopefully it'll still be pretty good flying and they'll be using us so I won't be doing a lot of sitting we don't get to bid for that schedule they they'll make that themselves for us since the bidding would have been I guess last month um, so the first schedule will actually get to bid for for our days off and the days that we want to work reserve would be September um, they seem to use a lot of the same systems that I've used previously so hopefully that will be a smooth transition for me but you know bidding is just it's the same but different, just kind of like everything else in aviation and different airlines. It's the same but different. You do the same job, but it's a different airline. <sighs> okay, so I've gotten that off of my chest. Oh, my phone is still on Do Not Disturb. 
is it no, okay no i'm waiting for a phone call I'm trying to get this girl in this down payment assistance program I'm trying to get this money to buy this house um anyways so what else did we do today today we um we studied this morning our first test is tomorrow it's um basic and doctrines introduction i don't know but we have a test tomorrow so the first base hour of the class or whatever we just reviewed they asked questions we answered um then we did some online stuff just kind of setting up systems that we'll be using in the future i like myself out forgot my password had to go through all this hoopla we took the pictures for ids that's why i have on like a beat face today that's probably oily by now i already took off my lashes right after i took the picture <laughs> um what else oh and then we went on to the cabin trainers and we um we kind of demonstrated the different phases of flight. So yesterday, the instructors did a full run through of the different phases of flights. Then today, um, classmates volunteered and we broke up the different phases of flights and we, we did those. And you know, we just kind of went over what was right, what was wrong, what we could have done better, things that we don't know yet, you know, just stuff like that. Um, and once again, that stuff is the same but different um they just basically use different terminologies and that's that's like i was saying yesterday is my biggest adjustment so far just you know like we used to call things initial descent and final descent they call that something else that i still haven't embedded in my brain yet so you know just those itty bitty things is just trying to like cross over and mix up in my brain and I just have to focus and remember stuff. Oh, but yeah, Chicago. Chicago it is. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, there was something that me and Brittany were talking about last night that I was like, oh, I wanted to tell the vlog that, but at this moment, I don't really remember what it was anymore. And now she's in the bathroom. Um... Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this clip right here. I'm about to go out, get some dinner. We got back earlier today. It's, um, I didn't tell y'all. I like to tell y'all the time. Just so y'all can kind of see how long the days are. That's why I mentioned the time. So today we went to class. Class started at 7.45. Shuttle came and picked us up from the hotel at 7.15. It comes 30 minutes before class starts. Um... So we start, class started at 7.45 and we got out at 4.30 today. So it wasn't a bad day. It was definitely way more interactive than any of the days have been so far. So today was a good day. We got a new instructor today. I really like him because he stays focused. He's younger than the other two that we've had. Um, so him and one of the other ladies, they, um, to me, I feel like they, they mesh well. You know, they kind of stay on track a lot better and, you know, keep us on time and on schedule and, you know, not kind of conversations bouncing from here to there. Because when that happens, it just gets confusing when you're trying to learn all new information and people are kind of hopping from one topic to the next topic and trying to get back on track with stuff. Which is human nature because, you know, one conversation brings up another thought then that thought turns into a conversation and it kind of just keeps rolling so this um instructor that we had today which he said he's going to be um pretty much our instructor for the rest of the time with he'll be our main instructor i should say um he was just really good at um keeping the ball rolling forward you know so anyways let me get about these clothes this shirt y'all look Y'all see my pants? I hope it's really not showing in this camera. But if you see, like, it's lint all over this. this the sweater's not stupid. The pants are stupid. Because the pants are, like, attacking the the fabric on my shirt. I've been linty all day. But that's neither here nor there. See y'all probably in the morning um, after the test. And I'll tell y'all if. Not if, baby, please. I'll tell y'all when I pass. We have to get a 90. There's 50 questions. And I felt really confident today when we were doing the review. So, see y'all then.